David O. Sachs. Early Life and Education Sachs was born in Cape Town, South Africa, and immigrated to Tennessee, United States, with his family when he was five. Though Sachs did not know he wanted to be an entrepreneur, he did not want to work a profession like his father, who was an endocrinologist. He took inspiration from his grandfather, who started a candy factory in the 1920s. Sachs attended Memphis University School in Memphis, Tennessee. He earned his B.A. in economics from Stanford University in 1994 and received a J.D. from the University of Chicago Law School in 1998. Career, the diversity myth. In college, Sachs was the co-author with Peter Thiel of the 1995 book The Diversity Myth, Multiculturalism, and the Politics of Intolerance at Stanford published by the Independent Institute. The book is critical of political correctness in higher education and argues that more intellectual diversity is needed on college campuses. In 2016, Sachs apologized for parts of the book where he called date rape-belated regret. PayPal In 1999, Sachs left his job as a management consultant for McKinsey and Company to join e-commerce service PayPal, which had been co-founded the year before by Peter Thiel. As PayPal's COO and product leader, he built many of the company's key teams and was responsible for product management and design, sales and marketing, business development, international, customer service, fraud operations, and human resources functions. During his tenure, PayPal grew payment volume from zero to $500,000 per month and revenue from zero to $240 million per year. The company introduced business accounts and expanded into multiple currencies and over 80 countries. PayPal had their initial public offering in February 2002. It was one of the first IPO after the September 11 attacks. The stock rose more than 54% on the first day. In October 2002, eBay acquired PayPal for $1.05 billion. Sachs is a member of the so-called PayPal Mafia, a group of founders and early employees of PayPal, who went on to found a series of other successful technology companies. They are often credited with inspiring Web 2.0 and for the re-emergence of consumer-focused Internet companies after the dot-com bust of 2001. Thank you for smoking. Following PayPal's acquisition, Sachs produced and financed the movie Thank You for Smoking through his independent production company, Room 9 Entertainment. Based on Christopher Buckley's 1994 novel of the same title and adapted for the screen by director Jason Reitman, Thank You for Smoking. The cast included Aaron Eckhart, William H. Macy, Sam Elliott, Rob Lowe, Maria Bello, Katie Holmes, Adam Brody, and Robert Duvall. Thank You for Smoking was nominated for two Golden Globes in 2007 for Best Picture and Best Actor in the Comedy-slash-Musical category. The movie also won Best Screenplay at the Independent Spirit Awards Audience Awards at both the Munich and Norwegian Film Festivals, Best First Feature at the Toronto Film Critics Association Awards, Best Adapted Screenplay at the Washington, D.C. Film Critics Association Awards and the San Diego Film Critics Association Awards, and Top Films of the Year. Genie, come. In 2006, Sachs founded Genie, come, a genealogy website that enables family members to collaboratively build an online family tree. At Genie, he wanted more visibility into what was going on across the organization, so the team created a productivity tool to help employees share information. In 2008, Sachs and co-founder Adam Pisoni spun this internal communications tool into a standalone company called Yammer. Genie was acquired by MyHeritage in 2012. Yammer In 2008, Yammer launched the first enterprise social network a secure solution for internal corporate communication and collaboration, winning the grand prize at TechCrunch 50 conference. According to Social Capital, 
Yammer's viral approach made it among the fastest growing software as a service SaaS companies in history, exceeding 8 million enterprise users in just four years. Yammer received approximately US$142 million in funding from venture capital firms such as Charles River Ventures, Founders Fund, Emergence Capital Partners, and Goldcrest Investments. In July 2012, Microsoft acquired Yammer for $1.02 billion as a core part of its cloud-slash-social strategy. Benefits. In December 2014, Sachs made a major investment in Zenefits. In January 2016, Zenefits board asked him to step in as interim CEO amidst a regulatory crisis regarding the company's licensing compliance. Over the next year, Sachs negotiated a resolution with insurance regulators across the U.S. receiving praise for writing the ship. Sachs also revamped Zenefits' product line with an initiative he named Z2, introducing a SaaS business model. Shortly after, PC Magazine would note Zenefits had become the best HR software on the market. Sachs was succeeded by former Uyala CEO, Jay Fulcher. Angel Investments Sachs has been investing in technology companies for 20 years. As an angel investor, his investments include Adepar Affirm, Airbird, Clutter, Eventbrite, Facebook, Gusto, Who's Intercom, McSpanel, Open Door, Palantir Technologies, PayPal, Postmates, ResearchGate, Scribd, Slack, SpaceX, SurveyMonkey, Third Love, Uber, and Wish, and Wish. Craft Ventures in late 2017, Sachs co-founded Kraft Ventures and raised an initial fund of $350 million. Kraft raised $1.01 in 2021, which brought total assets under management to $2.00 B, according to a medium post published by the company. Unicorns in Kraft Ventures Fund, I and Fund Roman 2 include Bird, BitGo, ClickUp, Pipe, Reddit, SourceGraph, and SpaceX. Awards and Recognition San Francisco Business Times 40 Under 40 David Sachs 2012 Workforce Management Game Changers Award David Sachs 2011 San Francisco Business Times Bay Area's Most Admired CEO 2011 T11 Personal Life On 7 July 2007 Sachs married Jacqueline Tortoris. The couple has two daughters and one son.